Good morning and happy Monday. <laughs> I'm Monica Wofford and this is your Monday moment. We have spoken before about saying yes too often, but in the midst of our final topics on communication, I thought it might also have value to address its opposite, far lesser said friend that no one wants to hear and everyone wishes they knew how to say, usually right after they've said yes and regretted it. The word is no. And as I just shared with a coaching client recently, no is a complete sentence. I, I get it, it's a struggle. Well, for some, for others, not so much. No, 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 and no. <laughs> but let, let's take my recent coaching conversation as an example. Now, this leader is highly successful, turned around a multi-million dollar business, and in the midst of what he could tell was his own impending burnout, recognized he'd not taken a vacation since five years before the pandemic hibernation. Um, now, I am as much a workaholic as the next person, but guys, come on, say it with me now. No, I am not able to drive around Miss Daisy this weekend. No, love of my life, this weekend won't have the honeydews on it. Next one will, though. Or, no, that's it, just no, with a smile. Because folks, if you don't carve out time for you to appreciate your own needs, and do a bit of your own recharging. Something is either going to force you to, or others are now going to be in complete control of your time, your schedule, and frankly, your energy level. Now, what well-meaning, work hard, play hard, control freak wants that? So say no to more requests, and yes, to a little productivity I often put on my list called rest. I'm Monica Wofford, and that's your Monday moment. We'll see you next week for more Talk on Leadership.